Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike. I am the American Analyst, and today we are going to be talking about an opinion piece from the New York Times and Mr. Paul Krugman. Bernie Sanders isn't a socialist, even though he says he is. If you like what I do, please be sure to subscribe to this to this channel, like this video, and follow me on Twitter and Minds. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's talk about Bernie Sanders and socialism. But first, I thought this was hilarious. Look at this guy's picture. See this? This is the how, how do I get an ad for Quicken Loans? And they use the same picture as this dude who writes the article. How how, how do they do that? That this is it's crazy. Uh, what I just I saw this I was looking I was like wait wait wait, wait. this is the this is the same guy <laughs> uh, uh, all right <laughs> I didn't I did not pick that article for this reason but I saw that and I was like okay guess we're doing it Republicans have a long disreputable history of completing any attempt to improve the lives of Americans with the evils of socialism when of quote unquote socialism. When Medicare was first proposed, Ronald Reagan called it socialized medicine, and he declared that it would destroy our freedom. These days, if you call for something like universal child care, conservatives accuse you of wanting to turn America into the Soviet Union. Well, first off, socialized medicine seems more like a descriptor than a smear, than, than something deliberately dishonest. It seems more like we're taking insurance from the private sector into the public sector and as opposed to saying that entire sentence <laughs> you just call it socialized because that's what socialized is it's you take something from the private sector to the public sector that's what it is so I don't think that's necessarily a smear and then and then he gets into the point that if you call for universal child care you get accused of being a socialist um, I think it's just a way of dismissing criticism um, that's obviously not what this article is about. <laughs> this is about Bernie. But it, it, I think it's just a way of saying, like, oh, you, your argument is invalid, basically. It's like, well, no, there are legitimate criticisms of big government cr programs. So just turning around and calling it like a, like a red scare is not a valid argument. And he goes on. It's a smarmy, dishonest political strategy, but it's hard to deny it has sometimes been effective. And now the front runner for the Democratic presidential nomination, not an overwhelming front runner, but clearly the person most likely at the moment to come out on top. It's important to note this was one week ago when this came out, so before the Bernie smackdown in Nevada. It's someone who plays right into that strategy by declaring that he is indeed a socialist. Um, dishonest political strategy, again, it's just a way of dis dismissing criticism. Like, uh, okay, and th this guy's obviously this guy's biased, but everyone has a, their biases, and and at least as you know this it is written as an opinion piece, so I'm I'm perfectly fine with listening to somebody's opinion. All right, let's get on to the crux of it. The thing is, Bernie Sanders isn't actually a socialist in any normal sense of the term. Well, define normal. He doesn't want to nationalize our major industries or replace our markets with central planning. He's expressed admiration, admiration not for Venezuela, but for Denmark. He's basically what Europeans would call a social democrat. And social democrat democracies like Denmark are, in fact, quite nice places to live, with societies that are, if anything, freer than our own. So, there's a lot wrong there. First of all, it, what, he says he's a socialist. He says it, and it's not a term of, of derision. Like, why why won't you take him at his word? It's either you, you think he either doesn't know what he's talking about or is de deliberately misleading people. And, and I'm not sure which you're trying to, to say in this article. As far as nationalization, um, 
he I believe he said he has he wants to nationalize certain industries like the energy industry, the oil and gas companies. So I think he does want to take those over. And central planning, well the Green New Deal would necessitate that type of central planning. Replacing the entire economy with renewable energies would require that. So he hasn't said, you know, we're going to start instituting a five-year plan or anything. But actually, I mean, the Green New Deal kind of is a five-year plan. The Green Five-Year Plan. Maybe I'll start. Um, maybe I'll start calling it that. <laughs> um, but the, why? Why wouldn't you take him at his word? And again, it's it's not meant to. This isn't a, this isn't a video on socialism. It's just why would you not believe that he says that? The thing is, oh, excuse me. So why does he call himself a socialist? I'd say it's mainly about personal branding the dash of glee at shocking the bourgeoisie and this self-indulgence did no harm as long he was a senator was a senator from a very liberal state so it, it's mostly i don't think he bernie does that i don't think he does i think trump does that definitely just to shock for its own sake just to to get media attention i think trump does that i don't think bernie does that uh, I think Bernie's unintentionally shocking. <laughs> uh, I think some of his ideas shock people, not right or wrong. They sh I think some of his ideas shock people. But Trump does it. I, he's saying that Bernie does that on purpose. I don't think Trump does that. Or, or I don't think Bernie does that. I do think Trump does that. But if Sanders becomes the Democratic presidential nominee, his misleading self-description will be a gift to the Trump campaign. So will his policy proposals. Single-payer health care. Good idea in principle, unlikely to happen in practice. But by making Medicare for All the centerpiece of his campaign, Sanders would take the focus off the Trump administra administration's determination to take away the social safety net we already have. I do wish... I'm sorry, I'm skipping around a little bit. But I do wish Sanders weren't so determined to make himself an easy target for right-wing smears. Speaking of unhelpful posturing, the New Hampshire presidential the new the runner-up in new hampshire has been poisoning his own well over the past few days pete has chosen mayor pete has chosen to pose as a deficit hawk uh, well, okay this guy talks i've i read a few of his articles this guy talks a lot about the um the deficit spending um i guess crisis of, of obama's term if you remember way back when um republicans would say they wouldn't um, expand or they wouldn't push forward the federal budget if unless certain of their measures were uh, adhered to uh, it's basically a game of political chicken like who's going to blink first who's going to concede first um, and it, they still do that but it's much less to a much less extent today he talks a lot about that I find it pretty boring to be honest with you um, see, see he, he still is going on about this. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Just, I didn't, if you, if you have something, if you're doing a topic, please stick to it. The opportunity will, however, be squandered if the Democratic nominee, nominee, whoever he or she is, turns the election into a referendum on either, uh, on either single payer healthcare or deficit reduction, neither of which is an especially popular position. Things will be even worse. If the Democrats find if the Democrats themselves degenerate into squabbles over either ideological purity or fiscal fiscal probity, the point is that whoever gets the nominations, Democrats need to build as broad a coalition as possible. Otherwise, they'll be handing the election to Trump, and that would be a tragedy for the party, the nation, and the world. Okay. Okay. Not the worst opinion piece I've seen out of the New York Times. Um, I, I mean, this guy, he's clearly biased, but we're all, we, we're all biased. We all have our own opinions. So I'm not going to fault him for, for his own personal opinions. Um, and it is, and it is an opinion article. So they're not trying to frame it as, you know, fact, as factual. Um, the only thing I would say about this is, that I, I don't understand why we can't take Bernie at his word. I think if he calls himself a socialist, it, he thinks those ideas are correct. 
So then let's, let's talk about his ideas, as opposed to saying, well, he doesn't really mean that. It's basically, this is kind of basically the whole, the, the whole crux of the article is he, Bernie doesn't mean the things that he's saying. So like, why, why would you believe, why would you believe that? If he says this, it, he, he's basically saying he's just, Bernie's just mistaken or lying. And I don't think he's, I think he's mistaken about the, about the outcome. It, it all comes down to this. Bernie, this, this guy's saying that Bernie is either mistaken or lying. He either doesn't know what socialism is, or he is deliberately lying to people. Uh, and I don't think he, he's doing either of those things. I think he knows exactly what socialism is, and I think he's not lying. That's why so many of his supporters are socialists. That's why many of his supporters are, are actual Bolsheviks, actual communists. And um, so I think it's very... People need to know their candidate. If Bernie, if Bernie thinks that his ideas are correct then let's talk about his ideas as opposed to reframing them and to say, don't worry, he's, he's not actually like that. He's not actually like that. And again, I, I, I disagree with Bernie probably on every single issue. <laughs> um, there's probably very little that we agree on. That being said, that being said, I think that it is important to note that he's not a radical revolutionary. As in, he's he's not a violent person. He's not trying to advocate for violence, 100%. So let's talk about his ideas as opposed to framing them in a... As opposed to muddying the water, as it were. That is all I have for today. If you like what I do, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and follow me on Twitter and Mods. New videos every single day. Have a good one. Thank you all for listening. This is Mike, the American Analyst. Follow me on Twitter, Mines, and subscribe to me on YouTube. And be sure to hit that bell notification. I'll be coming out with new videos every single day for your viewing enjoyment. Have a good one.